Hey guys, this is Danny with Patrick Adair Designs. Today we're gonna to be making our Stardust 2.0. So we're gonna be taking a lot of the same materials from our original Stardust ring, and we're gonna be putting it onto a black ceramic and a white ceramic ring band. Um, I think it's gonna really add something cool to the Stardust ring, and I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to be doing is taking our Moonstone and crushing it into fairly fine pieces. We want it to be small enough that there's quite a bit of dust and also have a few pieces that are a little bit larger. Just large enough that when they catch the light just right, you still get that classic blue hue that Moonstone is known for. Moonstone is really cool to work with. It's been used in jewelry since ancient Greeks and Romans used it and they believed that it was solidified rays of moonlight that were kind of sent down from their different deities that controlled the moon. It's such a classic material. As we're crushing the Azure Blue Opal, we are hoping for a fairly fine crush. We don't want any of the pieces of the Blue Opal to be too large. We want mostly to have a lot of small pieces that you just catch glimpses of every once in a while throughout the ring. It's okay to have a couple big pieces. Um, when I finish the ring, you often see a few fairly large pieces, but for the most part, we want it to be smaller pieces distributed throughout the ring. Next up, we're going to cut our meteorite shavings. This meteorite is really cool. It's Muaniana Lusta meteorite, so it was found in northern Scandinavia. Um, it was first discovered back in 1906, and it's believed to be one of the oldest meteorites known to man. And it's roughly 4.5 billion years old. Once we're happy with the ratio between the moonstone, the blue opal, and the meteorite shavings, we're going to go ahead and measure out our aqua glow powder and add it to the mixture. After we're happy with our mix and we've added it to our vial, we're going to go ahead and put our ring on the ring mandrel. Since we are working with ceramic, make sure to use electrical tape or some sort of insulation just to make sure that you don't break your ring band. And ceramic is really cool because of how lightweight and scratch resistant it is, but you can break it if you over tighten it on the ring mandrel or drop it and it hits the ground just right. So you do want to be kind of careful with it, but it is really scratch resistant and lightweight. So it's a really cool ring to wear because it's not going to show signs of age quite as fast as some other ring materials. Our first step as we make the Stardust ring is we're gonna be putting down a layer of our medium CA adhesive and then adding our mix on top of that. I just go essentially quarter by quarter on the ring just to make sure I get a good coverage. After we've gone all the way around the ring with our medium and then the Stardust mix, I'm gonna go ahead and just add a bit more mix on all of the low spots, just to make sure that we're getting the ring entirely filled up with our Stardust mix. That way we have a really good even color when the ring is finished. After I add a little bit of Stardust mix onto each of the low spots, I make sure to secure it in place with our super thin CA adhesive. Um, with the Stardust Mix, since it is a aqua glow powder and meteorite shavings, it absorbs the super thin CA adhesive really well. And then we're going to go ahead and we hit it with our accelerator to allow the ring to cure extra fast. 
After we've finished both rings and they've been allowed to cure, we're gonna go ahead and take our Dremel and sand everything flush. So I just go around each ring and slowly Dremel them down, making sure to take my time so that I don't break the ceramic. Um, I'm not too worried about scratching it, but I just wanna make sure not to put too much pressure on it because that could cause it to crack. After we've dremeled the ring flush, we're gonna go ahead and take a piece of our 220 grit sandpaper and just do a quick wet sand over the entire ring. I do this right here just to even out the color, make sure there's no weird pockets of air or uneven spots and to make sure that the entire ring looks good before I go ahead and completely finish it. When we're done with that sand, I'm gonna go ahead and do a layer of our super thin CA adhesive and this is just to seal the ring and fill in any holes that are left. After that super thin has cured, we're gonna go ahead and use our sanding again just to sand everything flush and allow us to get a good finish. So I always sand from 220 grit sandpaper up to 1200 grit and I just go step by step. step. So 220, 500, 1000 and then our 1200 grit sandpaper last. And as I'm doing that, I make sure to switch directions occasionally just to make sure that we get all of those micro scratches out of the inlay. Once I'm happy with my sanding, I go ahead and use our Astrotech Step 2 Polish. I find that this just gives the meteorite and the ceramic a really nice shine. So I just put some of that on a napkin and shine the whole ring and then call it good. And I do that with both rings. All right, looking at these rings side by side, I'm really excited about how they turned out. I really like the high gloss finish that the ceramic will hold because it doesn't really scratch. So you're gonna have a really nice shiny ring for essentially the life of the ring, as long as you take good care of it. And then I think it really pops against the meteorite and the blue opal. I think that they add just a nice contrast. The black ceramic is a little bit more of a stealth mode with the meteorite and the black ceramic. It just makes the ring look really dark, but still really shiny and cool. And then the white ceramic just really makes the Stardust mix pop. Um, it makes it kind of the focus of your attention. And one of the cool things with the white ceramic is when it glows, it kind of causes the white ceramic to glow as well. It kind of can shine through the white ceramic, which is kind of a cool feature. So yeah, I'm really happy with how these turned out and I love the look of the Stardust ring. It's one of my favorites. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. I really love the Stardust rings and I love working with the black ceramic and the white ceramic. If you like these rings and you're looking to have one yourself, head over to patrickdaredesigns.com and you can find it there on our website. These rings are limited edition, so they're going to be sold just through September 25th. So make sure if you're interested to head on over there quick so that you can get one of these really special, really cool rings. 
Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you like and subscribe to our channel and head over to our Facebook group for more information about our ring making process.